This is code.org, and we have an awesome working emoji maker-ish, right? We can create an item, it kind of randomizes it, does this, this, we can change things, awesome. So now what we wanna focus on at this point is our ability to favorite something. To be able to do that, as this instructs, we're going to want to be able to save items uh, or append items to our lists. What list? Well, we have been provided with our favorite eyes list, favorite mouth list, favorite name list, favorite description list, favorite red list, all of these things. And we need to be able to push something into those lists so we can keep track of each item whenever once someone smacks this heart. So this is gonna be a bit easier for me in text mode because let's be honest, it is a lot. Now, well, actually, I wanna start with this because I'll show you why actually. Uh, I, data. And by data, I mean variables because it pins in here. It helps us make sure we don't miss anything when we use block set points, especially when we're learning something new or doing something we haven't done much. All right, append item. Now, what's the name of the list? The name of the list here is favorite eyes is what I'm gonna wanna use. Now, what am I gonna want to append? Right now, it just has F. No, that's not what I wanna append. What I'm gonna to wanna to append is the I index. Cause I wanna keep track of the I that is currently on the screen. What controls what I is currently on the screen? Well, if we go up to our display thingy, my Bob, and by that I mean method. Uh, update emoji, what controls, what sets the image? I list, but the index decides which I is there. So that's what we're gonna be saving here. Let me hammer out several of these and I'll talk about them all at once. Okay, so I've hammered out several of these. Like I said, these ones append item, favorite eyes, favorite mouth, favorite extra index. Oh, uh, favorite eyes, whoops, I messed these up because this should actually be uh, favorite mouth, right? This starts with the array name or the list name over here. Extras and what's going to be appended or pushed into it here. Now, append item favorite red. What is that? That's the amount of red that's currently available to us. What we do for that, since it's not in a variable, is we say, hey, computer, go grab, go get the number of the red slider. Now I'm going to go into design mode. If I click on these things, color slider R. Oh look, that's the number. Go get whatever number color slider R has uh, equal to minimum, maximum value, right? And then whatever is its current value, it starts at 50. It's gonna be assigned or appended to, which just means add to the end of the list here. And now I'll do the same for green. Go get the green color, append it to that list, blue that list. So this looks strange, but what we're really saying is append an item to this list. What number? Ah, go get the number, whatever red slider is equal to. Now I could also, if that seems like really weird and annoying to you that it's kind of a backwards way, I could say current red color or something like this. I can put that there. And then I can also do current red here. This is the same, it's 100% correct. Um, this is a shorter way of writing that though. Either way, completely correct. Now, let me hit these last two real quick. And let's take a look. This is gonna do something similar. The favorite name, whatever name we have typed in, description, whatever's there, it's gonna get the text from the item right here and smash it into our list. Cool, so that's the first step. Now, blah, 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 and oh, here's it giving you hints on how to do this. Okay, now we're gonna move on to display gallery mode. And what is gallery mode, you ask? Good question. Use the favorite index variable already declared and initialized at the beginning, we already have it, to retrieve elements from favorite eyes, mouth, and extras list that you just worked on. Set the current emoji properties, I index, mouth, and extra, to this data. Note, retrieving the red, green, blue colors and the name and description data has already been written for you in this function. All right, let's go to display gallery mode. Yep, so we have the set, yep, yep. That's already been written. All we need to do is set favorite eyes. Okay, so 
favorite eyes, favorite index, and let's just make sure. Mouth, 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 favorite. Oh yeah, favorite index. Okay, so, ooh, I don't like their wording on this. What they want us to do is set the current indexes to whatever saved at that portion of the list. So, okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We need eye index, mouth index, and uh, extra index. Okay, so those three. What are we going to set them to? Well, we want to change it because we're somewhere in our favorites list. How do I know where in our favorites list we are? Well, we have a value for that. We have favorite index right here. So what we'll do then, ooh, this is a little out of code. What we'll do then is say, okay, we want it to be favorite eyes and what index the favorite their current and their favorite index is the one the user had selected. Yep, and favorite mouth. And that looks good, except it's not at me, so I did something wrong. Oh, it's extra. Okay, so we got that set up. Great. The display mode function will be called the on event code every time the gallery mode tab is clicked, which is this guy right here. And let's make sure, yep, that is what they were going for. Okay. And let's go ahead and do this. Testing is so important. So I'm going to hit run. I'm going to randomize mine a bit, change some things up and say, hello for a name, world for a description. I'm going to click favorite here. And then um, I'm going to change some more things. And I'll randomize it again. Yo, there, hit favorite again. Let's see, gallery, hello world. Oh, well, we just have one right now. That's fine though, we have to make the rest of this work. That's looking good though, that's expected. All right, find the on event code for left arrow button, right arrow button, and write the code that will accomplish the following. Implement the scrolling pattern that was introduced in level six of the list investigation lesson using the favorite index variable call display mode function. Okay. So left arrow button. When the left arrow is clicked in gallery mode, changes the value of the favorite index and reads all the emoji name and description. Let's see if they give us a little bit of a hint here. They do interesting. They let you click that regardless, but that's fine. Okay. So because they said in gallery mode, but now they're letting us. Okay. So if, and the reason we're saying if favorite index is greater than zero for the left arrow button is because if it goes below zero, we'll get an error. Zero is the first item in our list. What this is a fancy way of saying is favorite index is equal to favorite index minus one. You can do this totally right. I think this is more clear, especially while we learn to code. Favorite index is equal to favorite, uh, oops, favorite index minus one. And the reason I think this is more clear is it is, right? So what this says to the computer is, hey, computer, first, hey, is the favorite index greater than one? If it is greater than one, then this is true, and the computer has to run this code. The computer hits this and says, oh, what is this? Oh, favorite index has a new value. What's its new value, though? Oh, its new value is its old value minus one. Okay, that's its new value. Else, now the else that we are going to add here is for them, if they are at the end of the list, if it is, if they're already at zero and they can't go any further down, I'm just going to have a loop back around. So I'm going to say favorite index is equal to, and I can pick any of my lists because they should all be the same length. So I'll do favorite eyes dot length minus one. Cool. And then we need to run display gallery function or ask it to run. That's what we could say there. You can, of course, leave this comment, but I'm going to get rid of it for readability. Cool. That's looking good. Now the right, I'm going to hammer out the right and I'll explain in a moment. And so now for the right, I said if it is greater than the favorite index, if favorite index is greater than, oop, um, I'm just going to pick a list. So uh, uh, favorite 
because these are all going to be the same length. So I'll do favorite eyes. You could do favorite mouth. If we write this correctly, they'll all be the same length. Minus, uh, favorite eyes dot length minus one. And so if the favorite index is less than that, then I'm going to let the user, then I'm going to say, okay, if this is true, then this code must run. Favorite index has a new value. It's equal to the old value plus one. However, if this is not true, we're at the end of the list and I don't want an error. If this is not true, this won't run, but what will happen is we'll just restart them at the beginning so it goes seamless. And then we run display gallery. Let's see what I broke. Okay, I have two, I think. Boom, 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 and no errors. That's looking awesome. Test your code. Okay, wow, guys, that was a ton of code, a ton. I hope you're proud of yourself. I hope you make it interesting, add your own flair, uh, and make some really cool emojis. I'm going to when I'm grading these for sure. Onward.